Hey guys, today I wanted to do a review of this embroidery stand that I got in the mail the other day. I have an embroidery stand that I use pretty frequently, but I also kind of use it as a tripod to film my videos because I film everything on my iPhone. So I wanted to get one that was a little bit smaller and this one looked kind of cute and looked like it was pretty good quality. So I figured I would give it a shot. So this footage is just of me opening the box and showing you how it comes. It comes with several pieces, but honestly it wasn't that hard to put together. So the instructions are pretty straightforward and here are all the pieces. All right, so here's my clumsy attempt at kind of showing you how easy it is to assemble. <laughs> but uh, it comes on like a rotating track so that you can use different size hoops on it. And then these are the clamps and these little wood knobs adjust the clamps. Um, they are kind of large and I'm a little concerned that they might get in the way a little bit, but we'll see. So here is the embroidery stand all assembled. As you can see, it slides to whatever size embroidery hoop you have. It is a little bit wobbly when you slide it on the track, but I think once you put the hoop in and secure it, it's not as bad. Um, so this is me just putting it into the stand. It takes a minute to kind of get it right. So that's kind of a downside, but once you get it in there, um, it's secure. So I'm just tightening down the clamps now. The knobs on the side here you can loosen and tighten so that you can change the angle at which your embroidery is going to sit. And I forgot to mention when I was doing my like assembly video that the hole but beside that knob you're supposed to put screws in but there wasn't like a thread for the screw on the bottom clamp so I just left it out because I didn't really know how it worked. And this is after I tightened the track a little bit. After I put the hoop in and secured it, it does have a little bit of a wobble to it. So I'm gonna embroider a pet portrait in it and come back to you guys and let you know how it does. Um, I did wanna show you too, I did try to stitch a couple of stitches with the knobs being like up, facing up and they were really in the way. So I decided to flip the knobs to be underneath. It's a little bit harder to get the clamps to um, clamp the embroidery when you're having to do it upside down like that but the screws are not as prominent so I'm gonna try stitching on it this way because um, I think it's hard if you're using a smaller hoop because that knob gets in your way I think if you're using a larger hoop and working in a smaller area it wouldn't be as big of a deal but I like to stitch my pet portraits in the hoop that they're gonna be in so that is one downside to me, but if it works this way, then hey, I'm, I'm okay with it. So this is Future Me several hours later. Um, I definitely am enjoying the frame so far. I ended up just flipping over one of the knobs because I'm right-handed and that was the only one that was getting in the way. And the frame really isn't wobbling that much because I still kind of stabilize it with my other hand because I like to leave the hoop loose, the, like how I'm turning it. That way I can work on it at different angles. So I'm really enjoying it so far. I also wanted to show you guys my other stand that I've had for probably like 10 years at this point. I got this from Michaels and I looked it up to see how much it goes for now and it's like $42.99 so it's not really much less than the other one. The wood on this I don't think is as nice of a quality as the one that I just got. But I do like it because you can um, make it to where like you're sitting on a couch and you can put this on the ground and use it because it's got a longer arm that you can adjust and there's also like three or four different knobs to adjust the angle. So basically you just put the embroidery in the clamp at the top which I like better about this one because it doesn't get in the way like the arms of the other one do. Um, and as you can see it does have a little bit of wobble to it like the other one. Also, this one comes with a ton of separate pieces, like every piece that you see on this thing and every wing nut you have to put together, which is also a downside. So I wanted to just do like a little chart of pros and cons for both of these so you guys can kind of see and like weigh the benefits and the downsides. But for the first stand, which would be the newest one that I got, the desk mounted stand, 
Um, the pros to it, I think that the quality of wood is actually really nice on this one. And the knobs are really easy to adjust just because they're like actual knobs. Um, it is really easy to store. You can just like keep it on your desk and it doesn't take up a lot of room. And I think it looks a lot nicer than my other stand. Um, the other pro to it is that it does use multiple size hoops. It doesn't come with a hoop, but you can use whatever size hoop that you want on it. And I think that's definitely a plus because when I was shopping for them, um, some of the hoops, some of the stands only had like a hoop that came with it. So I think that's really nice. And then the other thing is it only took me like 20 minutes to assemble, if that. It was really easy to assemble and it only has like a few pieces that you have to put together. The cons of this one, it is a higher price point. I honestly, $50 seems a little bit steep to me for it. But then again, like I don't wanna have to build it myself. So I guess that's just the price you pay. Um, it does wobble slightly when you use it. It's not annoyingly wobbly, but it's not great when it wobbles. Um, and then the knobs do get in the way, so I flip them upside down. Um, the other con to it, if you are somebody that doesn't have a desk or doesn't want to work at a desk, you have to use this on like a desk or a tabletop. So stand number two um, is the one that I've had for a long time. Some of the pros to it are it's highly adjustable. There are a bunch of different angles you can adjust it to, which is kind of nice. Um, it is usable on a desk, but you can also use it from the floor because of the way the arm bends. So that makes it a little bit more customizable for your lifestyle or however you like to embroider. The other thing is that it's a slightly cheaper price point, not by much, it's like $8 less. Um, and the clamp clamps from the top of the embroidery so it doesn't really ever get in the way which I think is really nice it's taken me a little bit to like get used to having that arm in the way like towards like where my hand is working on the other one and some of the cons to this stand is that it does wobble slightly just like the other one um, and it is larger and it's harder to store. It's not something that you want to take apart um, because it takes forever to put together, which is another reason why I think it's kind of a con. I remember putting this one together and it was kind of like, it took me probably an hour to put together and it was kind of frustrating. And the other thing about it is I don't think that it looks as nice because the wood that is used is almost like that compressed like plywood wood. It's actual wood, but it's, it just doesn't look as nice um, as the other stand does. Also, with like the cheaper materials con, it also has um, wing nuts for adjusting things and like a few knobs, but it's kind of inconsistent and the wing nuts kind of hurt my fingers when I have to adjust with them. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed this comparison review. Um, so far, I really like the desk-mounted embroidery stand. Um, I definitely need to keep embroidering on it. This is kind of just like my initial reaction and review of it. Um, but I don't think I could really tell you like which one I like better necessarily because I think they're kind of two separate products. So it's really what you're looking for, which is why I decided to just do like a pros and a cons type um, thing at the end. I honestly just recently started using um, my embroidery stand more like consistently um, and it's really changed the game. Like I don't, I don't know why I wasn't really using it before, but it is nice because it's just like you don't have to hold it, hold anything. I feel like my hand, my like left hand after holding like the embroidery hoop all day gets kind of sore, like almost like carpal tunnel. And I feel like I haven't had that now that I've been using my embroidery stand. So I'm excited to try this new one out and I'm excited to try to do more tutorials on it. Um, I really, the main reason I got this was because people keep asking me for time lapses of my pet portraits and I tried to do it which I posted in the last video, that little like studio vlog. And it's like all over the place because it's sped up and like I don't have the hoops like standing still. So it just looks crazy. <laughs> so I'm hoping that with this new stand, I can just use my other stand to like kind of have an aerial view of the embroidery hoop. And that way the time lapse is just like it's still except for me like embroidering basically so i'm gonna give it a shot and if i can get some good footage i'll post it on youtube 
but um that was like one of the main reasons i was like i really need to get another stand so i can like have something to hold the hoop like in place while i film because otherwise it just looks crazy but um yeah definitely check out these products um they're like there's definitely cons to both there's definitely pros to both so um yeah if you like a product better um, and you have a recommendation, please link it below for people um, so they can see any product recommendations that you have. Um, but yeah, if you like this style of video and you want to see more reviews and you have like anything in particular you want me to compare or review, let me know. Um, I had fun checking everything out. Um, so yeah, thanks.